in this fourth example, I'm looking at we have at what we have, and first, as always, looking for a greatest common factor. So I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor. And I do have a common factor of 3 that can be factored out from this. So the greatest common factor equals 3. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 times, 3 times 16 is 48. Can't factor out any variables because there's no x term with the 75. Plus 3 times 40 is 120. So 3 times 40x would be 120, so that would be correct. Plus, if I factor 3 out of 75, I have 25 left behind. Okay, looking at this, I have a positive sign here. So this is a square of a sum. We've worked with a bunch of squares of a difference, but this is actually the square of a sum. Okay, so all three of these are the same. This is the factored forms, and this is what I have here. This trinomial this is the square of a sum. So I go ahead and factor that. Factor what is left, meaning what is left behind after pulling out the greatest common factor. And this is going to come out to... This is my a squared. Square root of that is 4x. This is b squared. Square root of 25 is 5. So this is going to give me 4x plus 5 squared equals 17. Then use the square root property, which says that if x squared equals n, then x equals plus or minus the square root of n. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of something squared, of an expression squared, is just that expression. So I get 4x plus 5 equals plus the square root of 17 over 3 and minus the square root of 17 over 3. Now I need to solve for x. First I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So that's going to give me negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 3. My final step is to divide both sides by 4. not the prettiest looking solution, but this is as simple as we can get it for right now. So later on when we talk more about radicals, we can talk more about what can be done with this, but for right now, um, what we have is this as our final answer. And you could have written out minus 5 plus the square root of 17 divided by 3 over 4 and then had a separate expression, minus 4 minus the square root of 17 over 3 over 4, but this shorthand makes it quicker and easier. You just have to write everything once. So again, factoring out the greatest common factor first, recognizing that you have an expression in this form, a trinomial in this form, the square of a sum, factoring that out, divide both sides by 3, and then using the square root property, taking the square root of both sides and knowing that the answers are going to be plus or minus the square root of this term. And then finally, solving for x. That concludes this session of educator.com.